Spanish is one of the most commonly spoken languages on the planet, ranging from Europe to North Africa and most of South America. You know, yeah. thanks to the old Imperio. <laughs> Hell yeah. Spanish Empire running wild! One of my soldiers died. But today's video isn't just about playing Het Wilhelmus on opposite day. And a lot of the time in Spanish... Does Galicia has, have its own language? I'm not sure. I, I don't think so. Spanish, the language we'll, is referred we'll to find. not as Spanish, but as Castilian. A lot of people in Galicia, I think there are Given that this is are, only one of uh, a multiplicity Celts, of other languages spoken uh, descendants in today's of Celts, Spain. Of course. So in this video, what are the languages of Spain? Castilian Spanish, of course. Some Which I don't know if, uh, if people wonder about this, but um, we in Latin America speak all Spanish, of course, and sp including Spain. But we do have very different accents and we do are able to recognize the different Spanish accents. There's, there's actually like different quiz and tests that you can do as a Hispanic person to see if you can guess what the accent uh, of Spanish is. It's very interesting. Italian. Hola, donde esta la playa? Hello, where is the beach? Me llamo Hilbert. My name is Hilbert. Tengo Yo, what, what's up with the captions? Uh, this reads, our uh, fucking Dutch people stole our colony. Uno años. I'm 21 years old. Putos holandeses robaron oh. nuestra colonia bonita. <laughs> Clog boys get wrecked. Castilian is an official Yo, language in all parts of Spain <laughs> and is spoken by that? all its native inhabitants, totaling around 46 million Spanish speakers in all. This is just a small percentage of the global total of Spanish speakers, million. which numbers roughly half Bro, of the numbers roughly half Bro, we're everywhere. People. Castilian is the second most spoken native language after Mandarin, and it's the fourth most spoken language overall following English, Mandarin, and Hindi. Fuck Spain man. is in fact only the country with the third most Spanish speakers in Whoa. the world. Whoa! The US is number two, bro. Of course, Mexico first place, obviously. Uh, we have a lot of people. But the U.S. is second, and, and Spain has 40, 46 million people. So we're talking about, what, 50 million Spanish speakers in the U.S.? That's crazy, dude. Following Mexico and having recently been overtaken by the United States. Castilian is one of the right. Romance so languages re it's descended a recent from phenomenon. Latin. It sits in the Western Romance yeah, branch and makes up part of the Ibero-Romance subgroup alongside most of the other languages in the Iberian Peninsula. The ancestor of all the Romance languages Latin? is Latin, which was brought into the Iberian Peninsula during the Roman conquest in the Second Punic War. Over time, the variety of Latin spoken there changed, just a few of the sound changes involved being the diphthongization of Latin I and O to IE and UE, with words like Petra, Terra and Mortem becoming Piedra, Tierra and Muerte. Word initial F became H, several of its sibilant consonants in the 16th century changing. Do y'all know anyone that speaks Latin? I feel like I, I feel like knew someone that was pretty, uh, um, how can you say it, snobbish about speaking a little bit of Latin. ...into velar consonants, giving hijo and hacer rather than the Latin forms. And various Latin consonant clusters also produce different sounds in Spanish, such as llave and clave, both from the same initial root. Okay, and... that's interesting. Uh, it probably takes into account kids uh, le learning it at school. I took five years of Spanish. That's something I'm really uh, curious about. Do, people, do kids in America learn Spanish? I guess the answer is, is yes. Because we in Mexico have English, which I guess it doesn't. Uh, the school doesn't do a great job because Mexico Mexicans don't really speak a lot of English. The southern Spain have more Moorish influence. I think Spanish in general has Moorish influence. I remember when I was uh, I had a literature. Uh, well, like when you guys in the U.S. have English class, we have Spanish class where we learn about literally the Spanish language, and it was something like five to ten percent of the Spanish language as a whole is influenced by Arabic. So probably... It's, Ocho. Uh, Around like 4,000 Arabic thing. words have also entered Spanish, alongside influencing the word order and elements of its morphology. We were talking While about this. While some Arabic features came to the Castilian heartlands with Mozarabic Christian refugees, most Arabic influence is felt in Southern Spanish, particularly in Andalusian. While not included in this right. video, there are also many distinct dialects that's interesting. A lot of people in Spain, I think, because I'm not from Spain, but uh, they say that people from Andalu Andalusia, which is the southernmost 
uh, province of Spain. They do have a very distinct and sometimes even hard to understand accent. To be fair, we are forced to learn Spanish in school. I remember I was forced to learn it when I was in high school. Well, I'm sorry about that, bro. Nothing forced uh, is good anyways. It's mandatory to take at least two years of a foreign language, at least in New York and New Jersey. Usually it's a Spanish, Italian, Mandarin, or French. Yeah, in Mexico, the third most uh, popular foreign uh, uh, thong is French. Of Spain, of the Spanish. It's almost like a second language, language at this point the here major in the U.S. I wonder how people feel about that, you know? and a southern variety. A mí me gusta mucho el poder difundir mi, mi, mi identidad hispana y me siento hispana dentro de que nosotros no somos hispanos latinos. Pero el gorrión no tenía miedo. Se posó sobre la espalda del león y comenzó a regañarlo. ¿Qué negocio tienes viniendo a mi casa? Dice. Y aterrorizó. Ok, el... can you guys notice that? I do, I, I do, maybe, maybe it's me, but I do uh, feel that there's some difference. Mis hijos. So Mexicans speak Andalusian Spanish? No, Mexican Spanish has evolved, but I think a lot of the people that came to Mexico uh, from Spain were actually from Andalusia. And I think it's uh, definitely a little bit more similar, but yeah, it's, it has evolved. It's very different now. The only languages we learned in the UK is French, German, and Spanish. Huh. When in uni, if you want, you can learn Chinese and Arabic. Ones la playa, am Dick Hilbert. Tink, 21 anos. William Shakespeare era definitivamente catalá. Catalan is spoken in the Spanish province of Catalonia. Catalonia, of As well course. as the Balearic Islands and in the bordering province of Valencia, where they refer to their variety as Valencian. Catalan is the official language of the state of Andorra, and across the French border, the historic province of Roussillon also has a significant minority of Catalan speakers, as well as being spoken by the Alguero commune of the Italian oh, island shit. of Sardinia to the east. Catalan has around 4 million native speakers, with a further 5 to 6 million able to speak it as a second language. As such, Catalan is the second most spoken... <coughs> Damn, that's a lot of speakers. Can you please react to 1992 Atlantic Hurricane season by F-13? Yeah, we'll give it a go, man. You can, you can chill with that. I mean, the United States itself as a country don't have the an language official language. Homes after Castilian. But each of the 50 states require well, English to be... Catalan is also a uh, Western Romance language like... Except Castilian. Louisiana, which has French and English. Castilian, that would make sense. It makes a part of the Gallo-Romance subgroup alongside Occitan and more distantly, French. This is due to the fact that while both are descended from Latin, Catalan evolved somewhat So Catalan is like a mix of Spanish and French? It didn't undergo the same diphthongization of vowels and was also more conservative in retaining both some of the Latin consonant clusters and word initial F, which makes its verbs for to do and to make a lot more like French faire than Spanish hacer. Catalan has a number of dialects, though they are fairly uniform with around 90 to 95 percent mutual intelligibility between them. Standard Catalan is regulated by I mean, the in Barcelona, of Catalans, which is uh, and it's based on central Catalan, which is spoken largest in the city. urban areas of Catalonia and has the highest number of speakers. Valencian is sometimes classed as its own language, though most linguists view it simply as a glottonym, a regional name for a regional dialect of the Catalan language. The most distinct dialect is Algarese, spoken on Sardinia. Catalan has been an official language in Catalonia since the transition to democracy in the late 70s. The teaching of Catalan is mandatory in all schools. <sighs> on the 70s. It's, it's fucking... It's, it's really amazing how recent some of this stuff really is. So Spanish has been a democratic country for like 50 years. With Mexican Spanish, their dialect... Uh, it's like the same as the Spanish dialect from the lower regions of Spain. I think it's very similar. Of course, in Mexico, a lot of the words are influenced from the Native American languages of this land. Uh, and of course, we have developed our own words and especially like uh, swear words and things like that, right? Uh, but yeah, I think people from Andalusia or southern Spain in general would be able to understand it a little bit better. And it's the main language of education as opposed to Castilian, which is only used in limited circumstances. Yeah. This has contributed to the fact that over 80% of over 15-year-olds in Catalonia can understand Catalan, with around 95% uh, able yeah. to understand it. 
In Valencia, 58% speak Catalan and 78% understand Can it. Can understand it. All right, While most gotcha. Valencians maintain that their language is different to Catalan, younger people are more likely to view them as dialect of the same. The Spanish constitution recognizes Valencian as an official language of Valencia alongside Castilian. Identificar-te amb una identitat pròpia, amb unes arrels, amb la teva manera de fer i amb la teva manera de ser. I'm able to understand a little bit of Catalan actually, you know, now that we have the guy talking. I was like, oh shit, I can understand it. Okay, this one I understand a little bit less. La mejor metáfora de la Wikipedia es el su logotipo y si se vuelve que son como un puzzle que hey, el puzzle y se me acaba. Al final van a comenzar a posar peces al al al. This one I'm able to understand more. The one from Valencia. Bro, by the way, if I, oh Galicia and yeah, apparently so there's a language for Galicia. By the way, here in Mexico. We love Spain. We just love Spain. It's the motherland, man. It's it's uh, it's a different relationship, maybe for what the U.S. and the U.A. the U.K. have, uh, but because we've never really had a lot of beef other than the whole colonization thing, of course. But it's the motherland. I freaking love it. Hola, ¿dónde está la playa? Chamome Hilda, tengo 21 años. Manda chover la banda. Which it does sound a lot like, like it's Portuguese. It's about as likely to happen as that it will rain in Havana. Galician is spoken mainly in the province of Galicia, as well as along the border with Asturias, where a mixed variety of Asturian Galician or Unoavian is spoken. It's the native language of around a million and a half people, though including those who speak it fluently as a second language, that total rises to around 2.4 million people. This makes Galician the 3%. main language of around 3% of homes in Spain. Like Castilian, Galician sits in the Ibero-Romance subgroup. Though unlike Spanish, it's grouped yeah, together with yeah, Portuguese. Yeah, I knew it. I fucking knew it. It, it's so, it sounded a lot like Portuguese. I don't know Portuguese, but I'm able to understand it. And as you can see, Galician Portuguese, uh, it, it, they're very similar. US and UK actually love each other low. I don't know about the governments. Yeah, yeah, no, no, for sure. The UK and the US uh, have uh, love each other too, uh, but it's uh, they had a lot of. Well, no, you know what? It's actually very similar. You know, Spain and Mexico, the US and the UK, it's it's very similar. Spain had a lot of babies everywhere with natives. Yeah, true. That's that's one hundred percent true. My cousin lives in southern France, about two hours from the border from Spain, so she speaks fluent French and Spanish. Probably a lot of people from the region, for uh, with the border, speak both French and Spanish. But that's awesome. That's awesome. Speaking, the more languages you speak, the better. Separate subbranch known as Portuguese Galician. This becomes obvious when comparing Galician with its Latin ancestor, but especially so when contrasting this with Portuguese and Castilian. It sounds Galician very similar Portuguese to Portuguese, have clearly though. undergone a different set of regular sound changes to like those very found similar. in Castilian. The proximity of Galician and Portuguese has led some to suggest that they are, in fact, simply different dialects of the same language, although most scholars do view them as two closely related languages. Normally, Galician is split into a Western, Central and Eastern grouping of dialects, with regional variation being fairly common on both sides of the Portuguese border. Far further south than a remote valley in Extremadura along the border with Portugal. French people hate Quebecois, hello. <laughs> Is that so? That's interesting. Maybe because Quebecois people are a lot more conservative, I think. Maybe. I, don't, I, don't, I have no idea. A related language called Falla is spoken, which possibly survived there as a result of having infrequent contact with Castilian speakers due to its remote location. Galician is an official language alongside Castilian within Galicia itself. It's taught in schools, and there's a public television channel in the language. Around 60% of Galicia's population speaks Galician, although younger people are more likely never to use the language when polled. There is also a divide between the cities, which are increasingly becoming solely Castilian-speaking, while the countryside is where Galician remains dominant. <laughs> This one, this one I'm able to understand. I understand like half, if not more, of what that man said. 
Asturias, ok. Asturio, Asturionis. Well, is that correct? I meant people from Montreal. Oh, I don't know how to spell their name. You know what I meant. Lufo. Hola. Yeah. <laughs> ¿Dónde está la sablera? Llámame Hilbert. Tengo 21 años. Fai un cutu que corta el mejillo, escarabaya el pellejo y gela el moco. Which basically means it's so cold that not only does your urine freeze, but it also cuts you open and freezes the mucus inside. Hasta Leonis oh, is spoken mainly in the regions of Asturias and León in the northwest of Spain. The name Asta Leonese isn't often used by speakers, who generally use a glottonym for the variant they speak. The name itself comes from the two largest varieties, Asturian and Leonese. Far and away the most spoken of these languages is Asturian, with around 350,000 You are a Galician. <laughs> I'm officially Galician. And some 300,000 second language speakers. Asta Leonese is also part of the Ibero Romance subgroup. Which is, you know, as a matter of fact, I do have a Spanish ancestry. I think my biggest ancestry group is Spain. I think it kind of shows. But I don't know. It'd be interesting to look a little deeper and to, if maybe there's a way for me to find out where exactly from Spain those ancestors came from. Own branch to separate from Castilian and that of Portuguese Galician, although some dialects in Extremadura are seen as being transitory between this group and that of Castilian. It's so fun, like... As such, Astalianese shares a few of you the generally common don't sound think that Castilian of Spain as a multilingual, multicultural country, but they are, they the absolutely West, are. Or has undergone unique changes, making it its own language. Much of the diphthongization in Castilian is also found in Astelianese, as well as the palatalization of Latin L in certain contexts, although the mutation of Latin F to H does not occur, except in those eastern dialects of Astelianese being influenced by Castilian. An interesting point about its morphology is that Asturian is the only Romance language with a neuter gender beside masculine and feminine when it comes to adjectives and nouns. The Astelianese language developed with the Kingdom of Asturias, which held out against Moorish rule in the Iberian Peninsula and was later succeeded by the Kingdom of León in the early 10th century. Just as is the case with Galician, there's a substrate of the Celtic language. Yeah, the Moors, I think, conquered almost all of the Iberian Peninsula, except for like one little bit at the top. And if you looked at the map, Asturias was at the top of the map languages spoken in the region before Latin, as well as the Germanic substrate from the period of Visigothic rule. Today, the language is split into several dialect groups, once again creatively named Western, Central and Eastern. As previously mentioned, most speakers of Astelianese very will refer creative, to it though. by the name of their regional variant, Asturian in the north, Leonese in Leon, I think you need to take a DNA test, Portugal, like my family tree, who literally try and find Cantabrian, every answer you had, in the even with Cantabria, pigs bordering Asturias, as well as Extremaduran, further south along the Portuguese border, although these later dialects have been considerably influenced by Castilian. Asturian is not an official language in Asturias. To be fair, with Spain, they wasn't really a united a country. They broke so many kingdoms. Portugal was more united than Spain. Spoke the language natively, that was Spain was more the first, true. Number speaking it as a second language. By 1994, this had increased greatly, with 68% of Asturians either speaking it as a first or second language, or being able to understand the language well. The language is also frequently taught in schools. Like Asturian, Leonese is also not official, but it has recently received recognition in the autonomous community of Castile and León. There are courses teaching the language in most of the larger villages in León, as well as efforts to increase the number of speakers in urban areas. Nevertheless, Leonese remains on UNESCO's most at risk list of minority languages, with some predicting that it will be gone within two generations. Whoa, that's. I mean, I don't know. How, how do you guys feel about that? Because for once, for one, it's like, yeah, that's pretty sad. It's a uh, language being lost, it's culture being lost. But at the same time, in Mexico, in Mexico, we have a similar debate about the indigenous languages. Like, should they be heavily preserved? Or should people speak Spanish overall as a first language? Now, my opinion is languages should be preserved, but at the same time, we should all be united by the same language, right? You can go f to northern Mexico, southern Mexico, blah, 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 and you'll see the same language being spoken. But at the same, at the same time, you know, it's being sad. It's, it's sad to see a language disappear. <laughs> Como dice, la estudian una lengua que, que no es oficial, 
simplemente está reconocido en el artículo 4 de nuestro Estatuto de Autonomía. Hemos venido aquí a Salamanca a hacer una, unas charlas alrededor del Leonés. Hemos estado pues, contando cuentos, eh, charlando, palrando, eh, cantando. Con That el sounds like Spanish to me. Y también pues, eh, con... Maybe I'm Asturian, you know? Basque? Okay, this one I knew. So I couldn't find anyone to help me out with the Basque pronunciation, so this may be somewhat of a car crash. Kaisho noen dagoen hondartsa, Hilbert dut isena, hogaita ba... The Oaxacans will get mad, though. They always get mad, bro. I've done my ancestry DNA. 86% African, 16% European. That's very interesting. As well as across the border in the French Basque country. 1% native American. It's a native language of around 700,000 people in Spain, a further 300,000 being able to speak it as a second language. That makes Basque the language of around 1% of all Spanish homes. That's very few homes. people. Now, Fun fact, Basque is one of the only three major languages in Europe that aren't Indo-European alongside Hungarian and Finnish. Not that fun, but whatever. No, it's interesting. I knew Hungarian and Finnish, but I had no idea that Basque now wasn't Indo-European. let's take a look at the Basque language tree. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah, not a lot going on. Basque is what's known as a language isolate, a wow. language for which the relations to other languages are not known. It's fairly They're obvious to see that it's not part. derived from Latin, and so not related to all the other current languages <laughs> spoken in Spain. Despite this, Basque has borrowed many words from Spanish and some from Occitan and French, as well as impacting other languages around it. And it's actually been suggested by linguists that the Spanish... You can even draw regions, for example. You can uh, link a little Catalan a little bit with French. And then you can link some of the language like Galician, for example, with Portuguese. And you can draw the regions. I did my DNA test a few uh, years ago. I'm majority English with Irish, Scottish, German, and Norwegian ancestry. Loss Gosh, guys, I'm so jealous. F I want to do my ancestry. I think it'd be super interesting. Basque, which also does not have F initial words. Like, I think... I know for sure I have a lot of Spanish in me. I do for sure know that I have some Native American. I don't know what percentage. Maybe it's like 10. Maybe it can go like 30, 40. I don't know. And I do know that I have some Jewish and a little bit of Slavic in me. But it's a, it's a mystery. Like, I don't know the percentages. But does have many words starting with H. Explaining where Basque comes from is very tricky, and several wacky theories have been put forward, ranging from being leftovers of the languages spoken in Iberia before the Romans, to being ancient forms of Indo-European or the only survivor of the languages spoken before the Indo-Europeans wow. arrived. The only Another survivor. idea is that they are very distantly related to languages being spoken in the Caucasus, like Georgian, but personally my favourite theory relates it to several Native American languages. There are a number of dialects in Spanish Basque. In the west of the Basque country, Biscayne Native American spoken, languages. Further east, Gipuzkoan is spoken. The Upper Navarrese dialect is also spoken in the north of the neighboring region of Navarre. Navarra. And in fact, thanks Navarra. to the establishment of Basque language my 16 schools, side, it's spreading to Scottish, areas that Irish, previously Portuguese never world. spoke Basque, Gosh, such as the I'm western so jealous. Cateri region Good for you guys for doing your DNA Lebro tests. In southern Navarre. Must be super fun. Basque has been an official language of the Basque country alongside Spanish as a result of the 1978 constitution. In neighboring Navarre, the language is co-official in just the northern provinces where Basque is spoken. And while only around 50% of the Basque country speak any form of... I'm Mexican too. I've done the DNA test, but I'm American. And what did the DNA test say? Basque, this number has doubled since 1994. And the highest percentage, 76% of speakers, can be found in the 16 to 24 age group. Oh, wow. With three quarters Young of people. those between the ages of 10 and 14 being fluent speakers. It's very interesting because usually it's the other way around, right? The older people are the ones who are able to speak these type of languages. Very positive sign for the future of the language. Yeah. Uh, Eta, eskatu didate hemen grabaketa bat eitxeko, nire auskerarena, eta nire izkuntzarena, eta beraz etorri naiz. Eta... Hola, hau neira plaja, me digi Hilbert. Jue 21 ans. Aranese is spoken in just one valley in the very north of the Spanish autonomous community of Catalonia. 
It's not a language isolate, however, and it's most often viewed as being a form of Occitan, Occitan. a language spoken throughout southern areas France, of southern yeah. France across the border. Within Occitan, Aranese is sometimes viewed as a glottonym for Gascon, either viewed as a related Occitan language or a dialect thereof. Isn't the the, bo- the region of France that it's uh, borders Spain, Gascony? They produce like either cognac or Armin. There are around 2,600 think, native speakers of the language, while around huh. another 2,100 or so can speak it passively. Aranese as part of Occitan makes up part of the Gallo-Romance subgroup alongside Catalan, the language spoken throughout much of the rest of Catalonia. When compared to Castilian, Occitan is rather similar to Catalan in retaining more Latin monophthongs. The DNA test While mostly German forms, with and Italian, with some Spanish, Occitan, English, and Scottish. Gascon, and especially nice. Aranese, often replaces word initial Latin F with H, just as is the case with Castilian. It may be the case this is due to early contact with Basque, which formerly was spoken over a much wider area than today. In most dialects of Aranese, this initial H is not pronounced, just as in Castilian. Aranese has greatly benefited from Catalonia's laws regarding minority languages, and as such, since 2010, is the third official language of the entire I also wonder what are the foreign languages in Spain. There's probably a lot of uh, Arabic... Uh, maybe like some Swahili, I don't know. Higher French, of course, English. Catalan and Castilian. I think there's Official a lot of British t- people living in Spain, right? Towns in the Val d'Aran are in Occitan, and toponyms appear as such on maps and road signs. In 2001, 90% of Val d'Aran's inhabitants could understand the Aranese language, All right. though speaking rates were lower at around 60 to 65%, <coughs> while only 26% were able to write it. Oh. By 2008, a study done on over 15s found that 78% could understand Aranese, with 57% able to speak it and 35% able to write. In 2018, the percentage yeah, of many people Brits who could understand like to live Aranese in Spain. had risen to 83%. This is for the sun, you know, they want to escape the... The, the weather of the UK. I'd said uh, 50% native, 29% Spanish, 6% Portugal. That's interesting. Get a lot of tourists, for oh, sure. Well, those able to write it had Sounds increased right. to 46% of the population. Aranese, therefore, is in a very strong position. The number of active speakers, and crucially also those able to write in the language, they increasing increased, every yeah. year. El meu pare era de Córdoba, però vinguec de la Val d'Aran molt petitet, i quan se me aridé que dame la mia mare, pues... It does sound a little bit like French. Aragonese. There's music in Aragonese. Holy shit, with my 86% African DNA, I'm mostly Nigerian, Congolese, Mali, Senegal, Cameroon, Ghana, and Ivory Coast. So DNA tests can really go specific, huh? Wow. Do I I wonder, maybe I have some African in me, you know? If I do, then I know I know where that DNA well, you know, well forget about it. I Just as with Basque, I couldn't find anyone to help me with the Aragonese language, so I'm gonna give this a best shot, but if you speak Aragonese, you know, let me know what I did wrong in the comments. Hola, Dan es la playa. Me digo Hilbert. Tengo 21 años. Aragonese is mainly spoken in the Spanish autonomous community of, of Aragon, Aragon, as of well course. as in the border zones with Huesca and Zaragoza. As with many of the languages covered in this video, most speakers of Aragonese refer to it by the name of the regional dialect they speak or another glottonym, such as Fabla, Cheso, and Patues, being some of the most common glottonyms. Aragonese is spoken natively by some 12,000 people, though there are up to a further 50,000 right. passive speakers of Not the language. Bad. Not there bad. is some debate as to where Aragonese falls in the Western Romance subgroup. Some argue it's an Ibero-Romance language, as there are several features shared with Castilian and older features in common with Asturianese and Galician Portuguese. However, it also shares multiple features with neighboring Catalan, as well as others with Aranese and Occitan more broadly. In short, Aragonese is a perfect example as to why genetic language tree diagrams are often limited in their utility when it comes to plotting the so nobody knows where it comes from. Language Many people do. I'm less than 1% banned to, but I figured that it wasn't worth mentioning. Yeah, that happens. 
I mean, everyone technically came from Africa. Africa is the birth of mankind. True. Well, that's true. Well, we're all Africans in a way. Grow together over time, adopting features from one and the other. It's easy to see this when comparing it with other. I think Latin a lot of Mexicans have as it shares some uh, of the African ancestry, uh, a little higher percentage, because in Mexico there were slaves and they well. sort of there mixed are a few with the population. In Aragonese, once again being split into Western, Central, and Eastern, but excitingly also Southern. Note that in some urban centers outside this area, such as Zaragoza, there has been renewed interest in the language. Many people in Spain have African DNA in some parts of Sicily because well. of the Moors. Since the late 90s, schools in Aragon have had the option to teach Aragonese lessons, although no schools use it as a language of instruction. In 2009, the language was recognized as a historic language of Aragon, though it is not co-official with Spanish. <laughs> que se habla no más aquí en Aragón y lo que voy a hacer y es explicaros una mica como bueno una mica la suya historia okay I can understand some things before rolling the credits Fair. on this week's video I would like to say a massive thank you to the city council of Lugo in Galicia who are kindly sponsoring this video with regard to the reenactment festival of Arde Lucus which is a thank you festival that takes Galicia. place in Lugo in the heartland of where Galician is still spoken. They sponsor this video, that's interesting. When doing my DNA, I found that even though my family have been living in London for 200 years, wow, that's a long time to live in a city. My dad's family originally came from Western England and my mom's uh, from the Midlands. Wow, that's and very specific. Day, I love that. Set in I the time period that. when the Romans, bringing, of course, Latin with them, invaded Spain, as well as looking at several of the Celtic of the Celt peoples and Iberian tribes, peoples yeah. that were in the Iberian Peninsula before they arrived. It's a great festival that goes on every year, and it's usually in the end of June. This time it's from the 17th to the 20th of June, and I very much would have liked to have been there myself, but obviously if you checking it out because it's an awesome festival they have an awful lot of different reenactors and other on the languages of spain i hope you've enjoyed hey, it thank you. that's awesome does this guy uh upload a lot of uh language things definitely sound was very interesting i i always love learning about you know the motherland spain you know the place uh uh, you know, the language I speak, my family comes from a Catholic background, so of course that influence too. It's always good to learn, but that was fun. Now, uh, guys, you guys in the chat, I was going to ask this question before, uh, but do you guys have Twitch? And if you guys have Twitch, do you use it a lot? And if that's...